Welcome back to another video, Style Crew. If you're new here, I am Rio. And as you can see from the title, today's video is a clothing haul from Walmart, which is actually the sponsor of today's video. I'm sure you guys know that Walmart sells clothing, but if you didn't know, they have something for every single person, for every single season, no matter your style. No matter what you wear or how you wear, you can find something that suits your style. And not only that, you can find it affordable. I have quite a few pieces to showcase to you, which includes six tops, four bottoms, and a pair of sneakers. I'm gonna go through each item, show you what it is, tell you why I got it. If you see anything that you like, anything that interests you, you'll be able to find those links down below in the description section. So feel free to shop if you see something that you like. First up, I have this t-shirt, which is an airbrushed graphic of Aaliyah. I'm sure everyone should know or would know who Aaliyah is. Aaliyah was actually one of my favorite singers growing up. And when she passed, I was probably like 12, I think. And um, let's just say I took it hard. <laughs> I took it extremely hard, bawled my eyes out, cried for days. Aaliyah graphic in really nice vibrant colors across the front plain in the back. I got a size large in this. Some t-shirts I do a medium and in others I do a large. With this one, I felt like I would wear it in a more street style. So I wanted to size up for that reason. Next up, I have another t-shirt and this one has K-Swiss across the front. This was such a nostalgic piece for me because I used to wear K-Swiss growing up. I was actually talking to my mom about this and she mentioned that she used to always buy the black pair when she, back in the day when she was a waitress. White t-shirt with K-Swiss across the front and it's done in a deep royal. It's not technically navy, but it's it's a pretty dark blue. I guess almost like a denim blue. Red circle between the K and the Swiss, and then the K Swiss logo at the back neckline. This one I got in a size medium. I felt like I would wear a little more casually, so for that reason, I got something a little more fitted. Next up, I have a short sleeve Cuban collar shirt, and this one I got in a size medium. Really nice, really airy, really flowy. I love the print on this. It's really vibrant. Reminds me of like Hawaii or something. I've never been, but I get that vibe when I look at it. And it's, it's just really nice, bold print, beautiful colors. The sleeves are a little bit on the longer side, but what I liked about it is once I roll the sleeves, the interior of the shirt, it really worked well with the color of the body of the piece. A lot of times, sometimes when you flip something inside out, it just gives you a really harsh contrast to a point where it doesn't look as good. And this one just looks look perfect. So if you want to see how I style these pieces, I'm going to be doing that in a separate video. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. I'll be utilizing all these pieces, what I've showed you so far, and then what, of course, you haven't seen yet. But I'm going to be utilizing all of the pieces to put some outfits together. And I'll just basically put as many outfits as I can together to show you how I style those pieces. So if you'd like to see that, stay tuned for that video. Next up, I got this colorful windbreaker or anorak whatever you want to call it what drew me to it was simply the color it reminded me of the 90s and in true 90s essence it has mtv on it so this is an mtv windbreaker and i got it in a size medium yep size medium and it fits a little more it fits bigger, a little more oversized, which is a good look. So you can wear thicker pieces underneath it to create some warmth. Perfect for the upcoming fall season. As you guys know, I really don't do colors as much or bright, bright colors, but this just, it just, it just drew me to it. You know, the Martin intro in the 90s, it just kind of reminded me of that. And it's, I'm a, a 90s child, so it was definitely, definitely, definitely an easy grab. Then I have this Champion hoodie in navy, which is a size medium. Embroidered Champion logo on the left sleeve like normal. Champion logo on the left chest, which is in a monochromatic navy. Some great interior in the hood. I kind of wish it would have kept it a little bit darker so it wouldn't be as noticeable, but it does give a, a really good contrast and some separation from the piece when you're wearing it. So you can kind of play around with the colors and maybe match it up with some other gray tones in your outfit. When with Champion being such a classic brand, you, you really can't go wrong with it. And sticking with Champion, I have a crew neck sweatshirt and some jogging pants. Now, as you can see, I kind of created this more as a set, although these are two separate pieces. This one is a size medium and i believe the pants are a size medium as well for the pants i could have probably could have sized down they're not really big or baggy but they are a little more roomier than i would like from the bin however i could always put them under the sewing machine and make them exactly what i want or make them fit the way i want i love the way this 
combination came out together. Of course, you can see the sweatshirt has the champion script across the chest, embroidered logo on the left sleeve, and then the pants have the champion script going down the left leg and the embroidered logo right above it. I probably wouldn't wear them together all the time, but of course you have the option to when you have two pieces that match. All right, we're almost there. We have three bottoms, which are all three jeans, and then a pair of sneakers. Now for the jeans, I got three different washes, a light blue, medium blue, and then a dark blue. I'm gonna start with the light and then work my way through the washes. So first up, I have this light wash. Now this is by the brand George which is of course is a Walmart brand. I'm sure a lot of you, including myself, have George pajamas. And these are a size 32 waist and a size 32 length, I believe. Yes, 2% spandex, which of course is elastane. So they have a nice stretch to them. Some slight frays and distressing throughout the leg. The fit on these are actually really, really good, which blew my mind. I was surprised. 32 length, and as you can see, I ended up giving them a cuff which I cuffed twice just to kind of give it that, that look that I was looking for. However, if you don't want them to be cuffed, you don't really have to. You can just do one cuff and create some stacks. Whatever you want to do, of course, you have the ability to do that. Then we have the light wash pair of jeans and these fit amazing, really, really amazing. Now this is by the brand No Boundaries, 3232, elastane in them. The wash is beautiful. You usually find a wash like this on denim that costs three, even four times the price. And the fit is amazing. The wash is amazing. No boundaries in Walmart, they killed it with this. Just for some reference, the first shirt, not the first shirt, the floral shirt was also no boundaries. So that, no Walmart and no boundaries, they they doing their thing. I, I'm really amazed by these because jeans like this, you're paying a good, 80 bucks and up for denim that fits this good and looks this good. Look at that wash. Look at the wash. It's amazing. The fit is beautiful. And then we have the dark denim, which is also by George. Again, 32 waist, 32 length. And they're really, really similar to the first one, just a dark denim. As you can see, they don't have any distressing all over them. Dark wash is, I've mentioned this time and time and again, it is one of the most versatile washes that you can have. I have tons of dark denim jeans, so I really don't need any more, but I still keep buying them in different fits and slightly different washes because they're just so versatile. I wanted to kind of just show you that range of the spectrum. The light light wash and this dark wash, with them being the same brand, they fit the same. They're not as, they're not as fitted as the no boundaries jeans, so they're a little more more slim, a little more roomier. <laughs> they have a little more space throughout the leg, which is not a bad thing. You know, there's always reasons to have different fits for denim. A couple cuffs gets the job done. Really nice, really stylish, really sleek, and um, they look great. I'll wear my K-Swiss. K-Swiss. Y'all remember that from back in the day? Clean and white, they always look right. As I mentioned, I grew up wearing K-Swiss, so I just wanted to grab a pair. It's, of course, of course, I have the white K-Switch t-shirt, so of course, you know, it's it, it was a must. I personally can't have too many pairs of all white sneakers. These are the K-Switch Corp trainers. Extremely, extremely, extremely comfortable. I haven't worn K-Switch since I was a child, so I don't remember the models I've had and you know how they fit, how they felt. Nostalgia reasons, nostalgic reasons. I, I just wanted to get a pair. And that brings us to the end of this video. Again, links for every single piece that you saw is down below in the description section. So if you wanna shop something, of course you can find it down below. Let me know what you think about these items that I picked up from Walmart. As you guys know, tons of deals, tons of bargain. And as I just showed you, stylish pieces that you may have not known, maybe you did. And if you didn't know and now you know, let me know down below in the comment section if you learned something new in this video. Thank you to Walmart for sponsoring this video. Thank you guys for watching. If you are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Again, the clothing haul will be coming up, but tons and tons of videos are on the way. And before I get out of here, I don't know if you guys noticed in this video, but I do have some new equipment. I got my camera that I own for about a year now back from a friend and I also got a brand new lens. So I am filming in 4K with some new lighting as well. So hopefully this video did look pleasing for you. And if you have the ability to watch videos in 4K from now on, watch them in 4K for the maximum 
quality. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit it with a thumbs up and I'm gonna catch you guys on the next video. Stay tuned for How I Style. Peace.